In this tutorial, we're covering how to make 3D text in Blender. This is a beginner tutorial. Make sure you are on version 2.8 or above in Blender. You can see the version number on the splash screen by clicking here. Or you can look down bottom right. You can see also the, the version number. Just click outside the splash screen and you'll see this default scene. If you don't see this, please go to file new and general. So in this scene, we have a lamp, we have a cube and we have a camera. So we'll keep both the lamp and the camera and we'll de delete the cube. Also on the bottom left corner, you can see my screencast keys. So you can see every input I'm doing if you miss something, please go back and check the screencast keys. If you missed one button press, I'm sure it will say over there. First of all, we're going to add some text. So we hit shift and a, and we go down to text in our add menu. When we left click, we have a text at the bottom facing flat on the floor. We have to rotate the text, so press R, X, and 90 on your keyboard, and enter. Now the text is standing upright, but we want to make it 3D, now it's totally flat. So, in order to do that, we're going to our text tab on the, on the right side, and we go to the geometry portion, and we'll extrude the text just like that 0 0.09 is fine next up we'll position our camera to point at the text so we can render it so we'll duplicate our windows it's very easy just left click in the top right corner here hold it and drag to the left and then on the right side with your mouse hovering on this window, press zero on the number pad. Now, if you don't have a number pad, let's say you're on a, a Mac or a smaller keyboard, that's no problem. You can always go to file and uh, no edit. You can always go to edit preferences and then go to input. And then you can emulate your number pad. So when this is checked, um, all the number rows on the top will act as a number pad. Next up, we have to position our camera. So we left click on the camera, press the move button and we'll drag it. Make sure it's facing the text. We'll also move the text just to the center and the camera, now it's pointing like downwards at an angle. We want to reset the rotation, so we'll press Alt and R. Now the camera is pointing downwards and we're gonna press R, X and 90 again and enter. Now the camera is pointing forwards. Now we just have to lower the camera to see our text. So just position your camera to center your text. Now, next up, this is a good time to start saving your project. So play, press file, save as, choose a location, choose this one, and I'll go 3D text tutorial for me and save as. Okay, so next up we'll change the text to something we want to write or you want to write in this case. So for me I'm going to write bronze and just move it a bit to the left. So I'm not happy with the, the font that Blender has as a default. So in order to change your font, click again on the A tab 
and go down to font and press this folder icon. Now you'll see all your fonts. If you're on a PC, you can always find your fonts on the local C drive in Windows and the fonts folder. But if you're on a Mac, you have to uh, go elsewhere for your fonts. There's a font book, I believe, where you can uh, where you can export fonts from it. In that case, if you have a .ttf file or if you downloaded a cool font or something that works for you from a font site, you can always save that in your folder where your project is and just get it from there. Just use the volumes to navigate to wherever your font is. So I'll click this button up here to view my fonts in thumbnails. Now I can see how the how every font will look and I'll go for something a bit bolder than I already have. So maybe go for I'll go for this one right here and I left click to go back out. Now you can see my text is small, but I can still scale it and position it. Remember to hit save, control S to save your project. Now we have our font. We have to set up a light and we have to see the render view on this right portion. So first of all, press Z on your keyboard and press render. Hit these two guys. Now we'll see just our render and nothing else. Also, this menu is a bit in the way, so we'll press N to get rid of that. You can always press N to get it back. N and T is for hiding the side menus. I'll scroll in a bit to get a better view. Next up, I'll position this light here a bit closer to my text and also in front of my text. I press 7 on the number pad to view view my scene from the top and I duplicate with shift D and place another lamp on the left side of the text. When I'm up when I'm in this top view, I'll also take the time to rotate my text a bit at an angle to see that it's actually 3D text. Move the press G to move uh, my lamp back a bit. Do the same thing for the right lamp. Now we have a basic white text on a gray background. I want the background to be black. So first of all, I go to the world properties and press color and I'll just drag this to the bottom. Now I have my text in white on a black background. So that's a good start, but we want to change how the text looks. So make sure to select your text before you go to this tab, material properties, click it and hit new. And we'll go down to where it says surface and we're going to click this one and press glossy. Drag the roughness value down to about 200. And we'll change the color to, in this case, a bronze-like color. Something, something like that. So our, our text is not really like a metal looking, although we have this glossy shader set to it. So we need to play more with reflections and also the edges of the, the text. So while still selected on the left side, I'll go to my text tab again and I'll increase my bevel depth. So right now you can see the bevel working on the edges and you can see the reflections from the lamps, the two lamps we have here casting a reflective light 
on the sides of our text. So we'll duplicate my, our lamp a couple times more and put them behind our text to get more, more of a contour to our text. Next up, I'll add a ground plane. So I hit Shift A and hit Mesh and Plane and I'll scale that up large enough for me to not see the edges with the camera. I'll increase the height of the bronze text just a bit so it's not clipping through the ground plane. Also my lamps are halfway down the floor so I'll just pull those up just a bit. Also this one behind here. And then we'll change the material on the ground floor to be the same as the one we have on our bronze text. So there's two ways to do this. You can press the ground plane, go over to textures and choose your material here or you can press this uh, ground plane and press the text um, hit control L and then enter on make links materials now we have the same material at the ground as well as on our text but the text is still not reflecting in our ground that's what we want. So in our render properties, we'll hit screen space reflections. Right now you can see that the scene is really changed. So screen space reflections will make uh, the ground floor reflect our text and also give the whole scene a more brighter look. Next up, we'll uh, add some bloom effect to our scene now it's very bright so we'll increase the threshold and we'll do decrease the radius a bit and intensity just a bit also one of our lamps is in in frame so we'll move that out of the way probably this one so we won't over below the scene but still work as a light on the side. When you're happy with your scene, you can go to the sampling rate and increase this to 256. I also want to go to screen space reflections and decrease the max roughness so it's not too saturated. And then it's a good time to hit save again, control S. I'll move my camera just a bit downwards so I get bronze like more center frame. When you're happy with the scene, you can just press F12 to render. Here's our render. So in order to save this text, we'll just press Shift S. And now you can see uh, a pop-up window where we can just type the name of our image and and save it. Save as image. I hope this tutorial helped you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, all that jazz. And I hope to see you in the next video.